In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 208, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. Now that YouTube officially supports 60 frames per second, I'm going to try to use it for all my videos, so be sure to change the quality settings to 60 FPS. Since last time, we hired Jill as a part-time designer to help prototype level ideas, combining the game mechanics in interesting ways to see what works and what doesn't. It's always inspiring to see what kind of levels modders create to take the combat and platforming mechanics as far as they can go, so it seemed helpful to have someone on the team focusing on this as well. It can be harder for Aubrey or myself to focus on levels consistently, because we can get sidetracked by technical or visual issues. The more interesting prototypes tend to have a lot of different objects and characters, so I had to do some optimization to make them run nicely. The most difficult situation is when a lot of characters fall over at the same time, so I started by creating more efficient and accurate ragdoll colliders. These improved collision shapes also help make sure flexible parts, like ears and tails, never clip through the environment. To make sneaking more interesting, we're testing the idea of giving each species a different kind of stealth. So rabbits use jumping and surprise attacks, rats use visual camouflage, and cats move very quietly. In this alpha, the cats are much quieter than other races, and move faster while sneaking. Large characters like dogs and wolves have louder and deeper footsteps. I also fixed a number of issues with the animation retargeting system, so that movements look correct for characters even with very different proportions. While optimizing for larger numbers of characters, I found that the procedural animation details are now fast enough to use on NPCs as well. So they also have arm, tail, and ear physics, correct foot contacts, and even animated breathing to tell if they're alive or dead. In any stealth game, you see a lot of guards in various idle poses, so I used some overlapping procedural techniques to create automatic idle animations, using weight shifts, look targets, and so on. This will also be useful for dialogue scenes to add more life to characters as they hold various expressive poses. I haven't been interacting enough with the Overgrowth community recently, so I teamed up with the Overgrowth Weekly stream to do a live video Q&A session last Sunday, and I'm planning to do that every other week. Please visit the forums and post to the Q&A thread if you'd like a response to a question or comment in the next session. That's it for this video. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, and get a free copy of Receiver and Low Light Combat, you can do that at wolfhire.com slash preorder. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfhire.